Well, it's January, so that only means one thing normally in the paintball world is sponsorship time. Uh, making sure that your sponsorship deals from last year are still in place. See if you can sweeten the pot. Uh, negotiations and see if you can pick up new sponsors so uh, we're gonna talk about that one on uh, this little vlog episode so the big important part about definitely going into a sponsorship is to, the one thing to get out of your head first and foremost is nothing's for free those days are long 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 gone you're not gonna walk into any particular company not going to name any companies in particular whatsoever and say I'm with such and such a team we want to be sponsored by you guys and we want to be decked out from head to toe with you guys we want bags we want markers we want protective gear we want jerseys from you guys masks pod packs pods we want paint we want money we want this we want that those days are long gone of course they'll hook you up with F probably absolutely everything that you could possibly want to but there's the big but it's not going to be for free they're not gonna say oh yeah sure come on back let's see what we can get you so you got to remember that those days definitely are long 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 over those are over probably about a decade ago or longer of uh, really really getting things for free you have to uh, you got to perform a service for it and it's, it's not hard there's only a couple little steps that you can do to sweeten the uh, sweeten the pot especially with your local pro shop because that's if you don't have a sponsorship yet or a team sponsorship the best place that I would say to start at would be is your local paintball field those are about the uh, the easiest ones to get because you can beef up a nice rapport with them and also too and you should have a rapport with them especially if you're becoming going to be a sponsorship a sponsored team you should already know everybody there they should already know you so that should be a fairly easy sponsor to get but you got to still remember you can't walk in there and say well i want this for free i want free practice i want free paint i want free gear i want free this i want free that so you got to remember that free take free completely off the table and get that 110 percent out of your vocabulary while you're looking for a sponsorship deal but don't worry i'm not going to leave you hanging i'm going to show you some things and or not show you some things i'm going to tell you some ways how you can get it to sweeten the pot one especially nowadays everything is driven by social media so the biggest part is of saying what will you do on social media you have to help support the company that you're dealing with especially will just stay based on your local paintball field so for your local paintball field you're going to go on to their social media site hopefully you already like it that's a, a key thing right there if you don't like the page already of the company that you're trying to get your local paintball field don't even bother trying because trust me they can check that and they can figure that out so make sure you like the page to start out with and then second of all you got to make sure that everything that they post, you keep posting. Flood the internet. Just overwhelm the internet. You, the big part about it is try to break Facebook. If they're holding the practice night for your team or for any other team, even if it has nothing to do with you, but it has to do with the local paintball field, break the internet. Get every single person on the team to repost it. And see, make it that when I go and log on to Facebook, be like, oh, well, uh... This company's got something going on tonight. Maybe I should go check it out because uh, there's 30 something people that's already shared this post. Maybe there's something, maybe there's something there. Maybe I should look at that. That's one way to do it is tell them what you're going to do on social media. Other things, maybe you want to start a vlog. Who knows? Take cameras around, show everybody what you do. Show, show the world why paintball is so great and why we love this sport. That's the easiest way to do it. I do it because I love it and also to showcase our sport. But that's the big thing about the, the vlogs is you have to make sure that when you're doing the vlogs, you're showcasing what you're supposed to showcase. So if you're sponsored by a certain company that you're definitely showing off the company that you're sponsored by and not showing off other companies that you're not sponsored by because that's definitely a big, big, big no-no. And then second of all is show them that you're having fun. You're showing the world, you're promoting paintball as a whole and 
and showing it that you yourself are having fun that everybody around you is having fun that's why I do these videos and also too so then when I'm done playing paintball I can look back as well and be like wow I I really do miss it and that's I had a ton of fun doing it so that's another way to do it another big one that every field owner will love ask if you can ref they're always short referees as we all know that it's a thankless job but trust me you ask if you can ref that goes a long way for sponsorships I guarantee you that one and a couple last things is make sure you go to your paintball field go into your pro shop and ask if there's any way that you can help at the field I ask if there's any way that you can help at the indoor field or the outdoor field the indoor field that's easy you can clean bunkers like I said you could referee you can sweep up paintballs for uh, after the end of the night of Friday night open night yes I know it sucks but it's just one of the things that you got to do uh, see if you can go to their outdoor field see if they need bunkers that need to be rebuilt bunkers that need to be built and then the other big big thing is casual wear most companies have casual wear nowadays and your local paintball company they'll also have casual wear as well so you make sure that you support them with that wear their casual wear out I don't know how many times that I've been out at different malls and different places, especially at your local town, and people see me wearing the paintball shirt that actually says paintball on it because some companies, so their shirts don't say paintball on it. They just say their company name, and it confuses people a little. But you get to ask questions, or people get to ask you questions about the game that you truly, honestly love and enjoy, and I love it. 100% that people come up to me and go flag swipe paintball or f like uh, paintball in general. What is that? Is that like army? Like w what do you do? Who, like is it like does it hurt? Is it fun? Is, is, it, is it expensive? Where is it? And it's great because then you can turn around and say well actually you know what on Saturday I'm going to be at the outdoor field from 12 until 5 so how about you come on out look for me and I'll show you one hell of a good time or if you have an indoor field to go to be like come in on Friday they're having a walk on night come out on Friday night and same thing I'll show you one hell of a good time so it's really easy you just got to remember whatever what you can do for the company is the same thing that the company can do for you it's a business transaction the two of you have to work together and the main goal at the end of the day is to grow the sport we have to stop this with all these different fields closing down, all the different indoors and outdoors and paintball stores closing down. It sucks. It's hurting the sport. We need to grow the sport. We need to make it bigger and better and make it the way that it was like even five years ago where everybody and their brother wanted to play paintball. You knew what paintball was and it wasn't one of those things nowadays where paintball, that that still exists I thought that's only for like little kids birthday parties and it's like no it's much much bigger than that so that's all I got to say about that so I'll switch back into my other shirt like I said sponsors so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got a lot about a lot out of this I really do and the biggest thing please 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 if you remember nothing else when you go in to we're basing this off of that you're trying to get a sponsorship deal with your local paintball field take free completely out of your vocabulary because free will get you absolutely nowhere because I guarantee you you walk into your store and say I want something for free they'll be like the door is right over there you can walk out the door for free so and I don't want to see that happen I want to see paintball teams come back I want to see the amount of paintball teams that there was like I said five years ago there was so many paintball teams five years ago we need to get them back we need we need to make this sport blow up again so as always thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything coming out of this channel make sure you go over to infamouspaintball.com check out all their brand new line of their pro DNA uh, all their protective gear soft goods their new skull gun from playing the clips the pro DNA uh, skull gun from playing the clips check that out make sure you sign up for their newsletter and I will see you guys next video.